What is DHCP? Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol is a network management protocol used to automate the process of configuring devices on IP networks, thus allowing them to use network services such as DNS, NTP, and any communication protocol based on UDP or TCP. A DHCP server dynamically assigns an IP address and other network configuration parameters to each device on a network so they can communicate with other IP networks. There are six components of DHCP. DHCP server, DHCP client, DHCP relay, IP address pool, subnet, and leaf. So, how does DHCP work? It is so simple and easy to remember. Like, the first step is when the client send discovery packet to the DHCP server and they say like, hey, I'm a new device and I don't have an IP address yet. Please give me one. And then the server will respond with the DHCP offer packet. And here's your IP. And then the client takes the IP address then send the request message and then the client take the IP address as their address after that the server then update the appropriate IP address and other configuration information for the clients the advantages of DHCP are reliable IP address configuration Reduced network administration DHCP allows the automatic management of IP addresses and accurate IP configuration On the other hand, the disadvantages of DHCP are DHCP automation can be a serious security risk if a rogue DHCP server is introduced to the network. Only a single DHCP server is in place. It forms a single critical junction where failure can erupt from a single issue to a system-wide problem. Next, if the network has multiple subnetworks, a single DHCP server may be insufficient and might need additional configuration. Last, not all DHCP clients function properly when connected to Windows Server 2003.